Let's tell Carlton Pearson welcome tonight as he opens his heart to sing and preach the word. Thank you, Brother Paul. Go ahead and stand to your feet one more time. I'd like to open my services with this song. Jesus is Lord of all. Say it. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, you are wonderful. Lord, you are glorious. You are Lord. Sing it if you know it. Lord, you are wonderful. Lord, you are glorious. You are Lord of all. You are Lord of all, faithful and true. Lord of all, worthy of you. Lord of all, we lift up our voice to let the earth rejoice. To Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Sing it. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Lift up your eyes. Let the church arise. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Lord of all. Yes, he is. Yes. Lord, you are wonderful. Lord, you are glorious. You are Lord of all. Lord, you're wonderful. You know what? We worship and adore you. Oh, oh, we worship and adore you. Oh, Jesus, we worship and adore you. by television if you wonder why we shouting and jumping and running it's because we know we're winning well the devil has won some battles but how many of you know he's not gonna win the war everybody say the devil has won some battles but he won't win the war if you believe it say hallelujah one more time father we give you praise for your supernatural presence and power that is in this vast auditorium tonight to bring deliverance to everybody Thank you for the anointing that breaks the yokes of bondage, that looses every shackle and chain that binds. 
hands and sets all of the captives free. Thank you for the many women who are watching my way of television from all across this nation. For the holy anointing that's going through the airwaves, into every home, every jail cell, every hospital room, and bringing supernatural deliverance. We give you glory. We thank you for the greats we call amazing. That somehow you look beyond every fault and see the deep and abiding needs. And you reach forth in your love and you heal and deliver. We're grateful, Lord, for the manifestation of your power. Gives us victory over self and victory over sin and victory over sickness and ultimately victory over death through the power of the resurrection. We give you the praise tonight. Now let your will be done and your kingdom come in this place. Have the right of way. In Jesus' name. Everybody say, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Amen. Bless you. Thank you. And be seated. Hello, everybody. Carlton Pearson. Welcome to Azusa, reminding the saints of the hope. I think this may be our 12th time coming to you on these Friday nights during this pandemic when people are um, hurting and frightened and insecure and, and uh, feeling anxiety. We want to minister hope. Hope means happy anticipation of good and or of God. El peace in Greek. I want you to be anticipating the best. I've said for years, the best is yet to come. Uh, the, the, the bitter may come before the better, but the better always comes. That's ultimately God. And so feel that throughout tonight's program. We just sang Jesus, uh, Lord of all. Carmen wrote that song and I sang it. I used to open all my services around the country for years. Uh, that was back when I first did the, one of my first TV and revivals, Paul and Jan. Dottie Rambo introduced me to them as an evangelist. R. Debbie Schambach, for whatever reason, couldn't show up at this meeting. And they, they were trying to find somebody to replace him and to substitute for him, really. And Dottie said, if you're really looking for a preacher, Carlton Pearson. I was, this was in the, the 80s. I did my first TBN host show when I was in 1980 as a guest. But now as an evangelist, I got to do also Jim Baker. It was the first African-American to preach on their revivals. They had these live revival services in the barn there at Heritage USA. So this brings me way back to the hope that I've always held on to, believing that Jesus is Lord. By the way, Paul and Jan are two of the greatest human beings in Christendom. They built the largest television network on the planet. It's still that today. Matt and Laurie are, and I've, their wedding and me and Gina's wedding were the only ones that TVN aired on the network. By the time Gina and I got to Hawaii, somebody flying to, to, to the island with us from Oahu recognized us from, here we we're trying to get away for our honeymoon, and they had, aired, they had seen the TVN uh, presentation of the wedding. But we go way, way back. I love them very much because they recognized the anointing on my life as a young preacher and put me on television, hosting the show. I, the show were three hours in those days. I was the first young black man to ever host the three hour long show. Of course, there are two uh, now, I think, but they were three hours then. And then of course they had me to preach these revivals and put my show on nationwide television. Fred Price and I were the only two African-Americans on nationwide television in those days. So when I mentioned them, I'm grateful and very thankful for their impartation, not only into the world, but into my world and help me create a world and their dear, dear people. Lord of all, kurios is what the word is in Greek and it means master or owner or um, a, a sacred, cherished, benevolent, person or being or reality or personification. When we say he's Lord, it's not just a, that, that is not a name, that's a title signifying the preciousness and the power of that, that, that consciousness in your life. Jesus being the, what we call the Christ consciousness. So that's very powerful and we sang that all over the world. My friend Carmen wrote it and it blessed thousands of people. Next, we're going to present Kirk Carr, one of the most perfect musicians or uh, choral directors and thinkers and creators that we have. He gives such attention to detail. His music and his singles will tell you, and if you've ever heard him, we had him at Azusa. I've known him for many, many years. I think I met him the first time at West Angeles when he was Minister of Music out there or, or a part of the Ministry of Music out there. Kirk just has it. It's just in his spirit. And he's this beautiful song is called In the Sanctuary. It's one of my favorite songs he's ever written, arranged, and presented to the people. 
sanctuary. That's that special, sacred, sanctified place. It's not just a physical being building. It is, but it's a consciousness. You must live in the sanctuary of God's presence. During all of this COVID-19, the pandemic, the pandemonia, remember pandemon, the all around demon or the fear is the Greek God for pan, uh, for pan. Uh, a pond is the, is the Greek God of fear. So all this fear, you must find your sanctuary. Find that presence of God. If you don't go within, you'll have to go without. So go within and enjoy this wonderful uh, presentation. Kirk Carr in the sanctuary, Azusa 2000, the first time this song was ever performed publicly. And you are there. Oh God, once again, we your people come into your presence with expectancy in your hearts. Does anybody have expectancy in your heart? God, we lift our hands in the sanctuary and we give you glory and honor and praise. Is anybody going to give God praise in here? Come on, help me say it. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes, we will praise you for the rest of our days. Come on, help us say it, everybody. Come on. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. Come on, lift those hands. We lift our hands to give you the glory.
every time I've aired Tim Johnson, again, as I've said, I love these people. I love people in general, but I recognize the anointing on their lives and the gift of God in their life. He's a writer, he's an arranger, he's a singer. He plays the keyboards, all keyboards, and all kinds, all styles. He's just very energetic, and I consider him a creative genius. He's singing, Hail Jesus, You're My King, and the energy around the song and the praise and worship around it is, is, was just powerful. We normally, we would have opened with a song like this because it's just, it just kicks it in for you. But this is Azusa 1997, and uh, this, this guy, you'll hear about him more and more and more. I've never forgotten him, I never will, and you won't either. This is my dear brother. Traveled all over the world with me, Tim Johnson. Hail Jesus, you're my king. Here we go, y'all. Listen. Hail Jesus, you're my king. Hail Jesus, you're my king. Your life frees me to sing. Your life frees me to sing. I will praise you all my days. Come on, y'all.
rain up in here. In 1997, one of the big hits in contemporary gospel music was the song that we're about to, to let you hear now. It's titled, People Get Ready, Jesus Is Coming. And it's, it's Crystal Lewis, a little short, blonde-haired, little white girl. I had not known of her prior to that. And, uh, but we were eager to have her at Azusa because of her style in singing. And everybody enjoyed her, everybody loved her. This was one of her big hits. And uh, we've, been, we've been waiting for the coming of Jesus since Paul. Uh, spoke of it first, but it's not just the physical coming, though we expect that. It is, it is Christ's consciousness. It is the awakening is the second coming too. Some people are waiting for the second coming. They're not sure what happened with the first coming when he actually atoned for the sins of the world, the whole world. He literally, there is no issue between God and man that wasn't resolved in Christ. That's true Christianity. So when you understand what happened in the first coming, and you know how to anticipate the second coming. And it, again, is an awakening. It's a consciousness expansion. It's the extension of the self and soul into the larger reality. It's powerful. And uh, so as you sing, as you hear this song sung, and think about the Lord coming to rescue you, wherever you are, whatever you're going through right now, uh, interpret it that way. And let this be a now experience. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things that is inconspicuous, that you don't actually see. Grab some now faith and let Jesus be real to you. Thank you, Crystal. You're amazing. Lord, I'm ready now. I'm waiting for your triumphant return. You're coming so soon. This world has nothing for me. I find my peace and joy solely only you I want the world to see you're alive and living well in me yeah let me be a part of the harvest for the day The day that comes when we will be dividing right and left for those who know him, those that do not know, those that know him well, will meet him in the air. Hallelujah, God is with us. That do not know. 
they will hear Depart I knew you not For my fantasy There will be a day when we'll be Counted So know it well Know it well They're the names you've grown to love. They're the ministries you can't imagine being without. They've preached to millions all over the world. And it all began right here. This is Azusa. great move of the Holy Spirit would be among black people. The Holy Ghost just said, get ready, 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 get ready. Get ready. traveling around the world is because I came here in 1992 and I cannot forget the bridge that brought me over. Shut up! 
I met Orlando Draper in 1995 at the dedication of Brandon Porter II, Bishop Brandon Porter of the Greater Community Temple Church of God in Christ in Memphis, Tennessee, member of the General Board of the Churches of God in Christ. I was there to dedicate his brilliant young son uh, way back in 1995, and I heard Orlando, had never heard of him before. He sang and blessed me so much, I said, I've got to have him, have him at Azusa. The next year, 96, he came and uh, he sang this wonderful song, Got a Feeling, and it, it was a hit. I mean, everybody in the whole auditorium was singing and, 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 and physically into the song. Orlando wasn't just a singer, he was a choral director, choir director, and he would direct sometimes with, with his shoulders or with his eyes or his eyebrows. He would do things, he would put on a performance. The choir was performing, but so was he. What's the highest praise? And there was just like electricity between him and the choir, him and the song. He was truly an anointed young man. He really had a touch of God on his, on his life, and he expressed that. In fact, a lot of the other choir directors got some of their antics from him. He started that kind of choir director showmanship that went throughout particularly the black church. But it was fun, and it was fashionable, and it's unique. He's in heaven now. We lost him not too long after that. Uh, suddenly and, uh, and unexpectedly, but he left this song with us and left this energy in the earth, and you're going to hear him singing it. It's in 1996, I Got a Feeling. It's not I, it's just got a feeling, and you should have one. Come on, man, I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Name and say it's gonna be all right. I'll tell somebody, I'll say it's gonna be all right. Hey, yeah, I want you to sing along with us as we sing it one time through. Listen, everything's gonna be all right. I got a feeling. Everything is gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. Woo! Anybody believe that in here? I got a feeling. Just wave your head in the balcony if you believe it. Everything's gonna be all right. I got a feeling, y'all. Oh, that he has in his word.
word.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Obviously, uh, Bishop Paul Morton and I uh, really jailed when it came to worship and singing, and he came to so many Azusas. I love him to this day. He's a great man of God. He's done so much in the earth. I remember praying uh, when I was in college, a freshman. I had three things. I went on a three-day fast. I prayed that Fred, that, uh, Fred Sanford would be saved, <laughs> that Baptist people would get filled with the Holy Ghost, and that Stevie Wonder would be saved. I didn't know that Stevie had already given his life to the Lord, had been around the Church of God. He told me that himself years after, after that, uh, that three-day fast. And of course, Paul Morton was very special because in me, to, to me, he's the answer of a Baptocostal movement. He's the one that was the fulfillment of this prayer. I had no idea when I was a freshman, I was a sophomore in college at ORU, that I would actually see these things happen. Fred Sanford died before. I did meet him, but I didn't get to particularly lead him to the Lord. That was my mentality in those days. But he had a praying mother. She outlived him, actually. Red Fox, that's his international well-known name, the character. Fred Sanford was the junk, junkyard owner. But Red Fox is the icon. And way before Sanford and Son and after that, he's still an icon. So uh, I love him. So I believe that, uh, as I believe now, that he was included in the finished work of the cross and that uh, the blood of Jesus that was shed for all sins included his as well. But it's just fascinating that you can pray and experience and, tr and put trackers on your prayers and uh, see them answered. So Paul is singing at Azusa at what we were used to, we weren't doing a coast to coast that year. So we had the conference here in October, sort of April at the Maybe Center. This is at Higher Dimensions Church. And he preached that night and he began to sing one of my favorite songs that I usually sing every Sunday in that church when I preach, Oh, the glory of his presence. When, I, when, I, when God is present, I have a clear vision of everything. Everything is articulated. Everything is enunciated. Everything is sharpened and you feel it. I mean, it's a physical, sens sensual and cellular as well as your soul expressing itself powerfully. So you feel the anointing on this song as Paul leads us and uh, Bishop Paul Morton leads us into this glorious, um, it's a chant also of, of the church that uh, goes deep, deep inside. You feel the presence of the Lord with you right now, where you are, wherever you are, however you are, there's clarity and glory in God's presence. So, so arise from your rest, Lord. I want you to be blessed by our praise. As we glory in your, your embrace, oh, thank you, Jesus, as your presence now feels this place so so rise from your rest Lord I want you to be blessed by our praise as we glory, 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 glory in your, your embrace. Oh, thank you, Jesus.
Thank you for filling this place. Thank you for filling this place. Thank you for filling this place. As I do each week, I like to pause and thank all of you who um, take the time and use your treasure to bless the work that we're doing. Whether that's a $5 gift or a $50 gift, and sometimes some of you put little statements, little comments, thank you for blessing us, thank you for Azusa. So sweet to read those comments. And I always put a little heart uh, uh, in response to when, it's, when I see the Cash App. Others of you use pay, PayPal or you actually mail it in. Some of you have been mailing it to our post office box here in Tulsa, but thank you. It means a lot to us, it means a lot to me personally, because we can't do this without help. Today, we redigitized digitized more video. Uh, we take this old footage that some of it's 20, 30 years old, we digitize it, we bring it up to date. We're using the top of the line cameras and lenses. Mike Williams, who produces this, is a perfectionist. And uh, he has the lighting and he makes everything. Sometimes I have to do lines over two or three times just because he's a perfectionist, but that's what I like about him. He tends to bring the best out of me and the best out of these programs. He knows every sermon, every song, uh, and he's very valuable. Thank God he lives here in the city uh, with me and um, has been here working with me for over 25 years, close to 30, I think. Anyway, he's a jewel. So, but he, he invests his time and his talent, and I always like to bless him as well. So remember that. Uh, we are finding ways to help hurting older people, widows and orphans, and we've we, we, I support ministries through this ministry that has fed 5,000 people just during the, the COVID crisis, local ministries here in town and others. So when you give, you're, you're not just sowing into the soil that's here, you're sowing into the soil that reaches a lot of people. Thousands and thousands of people are being blessed. So thank you very kindly. Remember, no gift is too small and no gift is too large. Either way, God honors it. Thank you and God bless you. The word yes is the most interesting word in the human experience and expression. It's a very um, 
curious word. It's an adventurous word. No, no is boring. <laughs> no has no life in it. But yes opens you up to new realities. The anthem of the Church of God in Christ is, Yes, Lord. I've sang it and said it all my life. Before you're seated, let me hear you say, Yes. Come on. Yes. 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 again yes yes oh glory to God yes my soul to magnify your great God of my own way oh yes God yes God yeah sing it send the rain <laughs> Send the rain. Come on, come on. Send the rain. Oh. Send the rain. Send the rain. Send to be able to sing it with Shirley Caesar, and, and we're going to let you hear that in a minute. We sang I'll Say Yes Together. Uh, for one of our one of our last Azusa albums, and if it wasn't for the yes in somebody's soul, I, my pastor Bishop J. E. Blake, who licensed and ordained me, his son Charles Blake as a presiding bishop of the entire Church of God in Christ movement, or Robert said yes to God, or there'd be no O R U, and I wouldn't have had that wonderful experience. I referred to Paul and Jan Crouch earlier, who said yes, Jim and Tammy Baker, who said yes. Um, bishop Charles Harrison Mason, had he not said yes to God back in 1895. And he started the movement, or yes, to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost in 1907 at the Great Azusa Street Outpour. Had William Seymour, a one-eyed, uh, self-educated son of former slaves, had he not said yes to God to go to uh, Houston and hear uh, Charles Parham teach and then say yes to God, borrow the money from Charles Parham for a train trip to Los Angeles, out of which the great Azusa revival sprang. The Catherine Kuhlmans, the Marcerello, whom we recently celebrated. My life is filled with people who said yes. The people who influenced us the most are scientists who said yes and artists who said yes. So as we sing this, I'll say yes, yes, Lord, Think about where, why, and how you say yes in your soul to your destiny, to your calling, to your coding. We'll close the program tonight with Shirley Caesar, the pastor evangelist, a woman that touched me back when I was like seven or eight years old with her song and her music. God bless you tonight, and we'll see you again next time. Let's go out, hands lifted up, saying yes to God. Carlton Pearson and the one and only pastor evangelist, Shirley Caesar. Give another big round of applause to the one and only Dr. Julius Caesar. That's the one I've done. Come on and clap your hands, everybody.
I'm going to ask you to do something I normally ask people in live services, but wherever you are, if you'll just wrap your arms around yourself, just get a good hold, a good grasp, a good grip on you. Uh, affirm yourself by how you hold yourself. And imagine that those arms are God's arms. Remember the arms of Jesus holding you, hugging you, embracing you, enfolding you. And let's pray. In the name and nature of the Christ, I pray deliverance, rescue, peace from all anxiety people hurting in their homes, hurting in their hearts, frightened, insecure, full of anxiety, terror. I supernaturally, through the anointing of the Holy Ghost, remove terroristic thoughts, fear, anxiety, depression, loneliness, go in Jesus' name. Be healed, be strengthened, be encouraged by the Spirit of God at work in you, through you, to you, and as you. You're free. I pronounce it on you. I decree and declare that you're good in God and God is good in you and God is expressing itself as you in the universal smile and be healed, set free in Jesus name. Amen. See you again next time. They're the names you've grown to love. They're the ministries you can't imagine being without. They've preached to millions all over the world. And it all began right here. This is Azusa. The next great move of the Holy Spirit would be among black people. The Holy Ghost just said, get ready, 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 get ready. Get ready. why I'm traveling around the world is because I came here in 1992 and I cannot forget the bridge that brought me over. Give God a great shot of praise.